An important clash. Let's have a look at the starting lineup then for Chipolo Polo under Avram Grant. Three changes made then by the coach. Don't forget uh, the last time we played was on the 7th of June against the Camors with a 2 1 victory it's into the starting lineup and uh, he'll play down the right hand side. Senkoto uh, then uh, playing also on the right hand side from uh, Lilafane is one of the changes. And Makateng, who's in South Africa, was Richard, Richard's base. Emmanuel Banda wide to Roderick Kabwe. Much more direct route this time. There's a second ball for the Zambians. Big deflection. Yeah. He should have had. And uh, that cost them, uh, Kangwa, not to be able to have a, a shot and it was intercepted. Here you see the ball coming across, well laid up for him. He takes a touch, but. Right reach to Bang Malani. Suddenly there's a couple of passes that have gone to hand here. And looking for Makateng. So Makateng! Oh, it's a good save from Tosto and Savart. And against the run of play. The 24-year-old based in South Africa very nearly opens the account for the visitors. Yeah, it fell very fortuitously. Both the uh, defenders, uh, Musonda and Moapwe, getting caught. And uh, great shot there from... That makes sense. A left footer should take it from here. Out towards the far post. It's a good hitter from Frankie Musonda. Well, that was a very intelligent uh, set sense because look he chips it in there possibly if he had just headed across instead of going for goal because the angle was quite tight you had a number here yeah, Kev you have a number of Zambian players in the center if you look at it the encounter so far Roderick Kabwe getting a little slider looking for Lamek Banda he's gotten away from his defense on this occasion Lamek Banda was there enough for the for the referee to award a this is the earlier chance yeah Banda going down Penalty? Very easily. No, not really. If you look at it, yes, he's beaten his man with his touch. But, I mean, Banda goes for the ball. Again, the defending zonally, keeping their lines. Very disciplined. Forcing Finally, there's a shot that's just wide from Emmanuel Banda. Still nothing on target, though, for Zambia. Yeah, as I was saying before that shot, I didn't expect that shot to come from Banda. was a surprise even to the keeper. Didn't have enough on it to beat uh, Morani. But look again, he hits it. Morani was caught. One thing, just like I was there before the shot was taken. And look, he strikes it first time. Huh? And not a bad effort uh, position. Here you see, he jumps out, he uses his hands, and that's a foul, definitely. You know, we've gone. I almost thought that Makateng might uh, get involved in this one. So the dummy first up, and then the shot needs to be saved. He's not saved. A mistake from Itsapata, and the shoot you lead. He's totally gutted. I mean, uh, that is a basic error for a keeper when you have your hands so far apart. You can see he's gutted, but he should just he should just be more composed. These mistakes can happen to anybody, but at this level, you don't expect them to be made by a keeper of Saban. You can see he's so 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 angry with himself. Look at that ball. Didn't really threaten to go ahead. It's not the greatest of uh, free kicks, but. It was a huge, huge, huge blunder there from Sabata. Yeah, it's a curling ball that any goalkeeper would say with any great credit. And uh, is it game time? And that has cost him the man with the yellow card. Swarilo Bereng opens the scoring for Lesotho against the run of play. Also very much a conversationalist. Free kick opportunity here for Zambia. Can they do the same as what Lesotho did previously? The header from Kangwa goes over the top. In fact, it's uh, Musonga. And here you see well taken free kick. Instead of just allowing it to come off his head there, Banda. But when you make those mistakes at this level, it can become very, very uh, uh, dangerous. Well, his coach will be looking at that, and uh, so will Badri Alis and Gare. In the meantime, there's a shot to the goalkeeper, Murane. And then level with the fashion Sakala of Chipola Polo. It's only taken him four minutes. Well, I tell you, that was an outstanding goal, Kev. For fashion Sikala, he really uh, showed the fashion of scoring goals there. Well taken goal. And uh, we'll see it now in the slow-mo, Kev. Look at the crowd. Look at this. He, he, he makes it easy. He goes, he, he goes outside. He beats two players and hits it. Immediately when he beats those two players, he uses the laces and he 
and, and the power of that shot just gives uh, the keeper there, Morani, absolutely no chance. Look at that. Look at his first touch again, brilliant. Controls the ball, takes on two men, leaves both for dead. And for once, Lesotho have found, found one thing. Instead of having cover, both players were sold a dummy to Dhaka Banda Kangwe. Kangwe will play it short, looking for the return ball and maybe a little bit more of an angle. There is the angle he was looking for, and Masonda goes over the top. Now with three minutes to play before half time. Look at that header. Yeah, he's going to push up constantly, Ike. He's the aerial threat for Zambia. So much of a space last month. Lamek Banda, once again, there's three defenders on Lamek. It's a lovely little dink. Almost. That's in dark, eh? Well, that was a brilliant move again. Taking three defenders wide and Banda just getting in behind, just making that run. Unfortunately, not able to get a touch on it, but you must compliment Banda for a great... Carlos goal managed to scratch underneath the Lesotho goalkeeper. He does go directly for goal. I don't think it was a bad effort, he got it to bounce. No, I wasn't on target and it would have been important to see how the other players, had it been on target, you see four Zambian players following up, meaning looking for a rebound, looking for the second ball, and uh, as you said, if it had, absolutely, absolutely, they realised that uh, Lesotho is not going to just uh, give away space in defence. Kangwa, it's on a bad ball from Kangwa. That ball out for a corner. Mabele trying to get behind Fashion Sakana, but he's not going to do well enough because Zambia strike early in the second half and take the lead for the first time. Fans absolutely delighted. Look at the corner, look at the quality of the service. And look at that ball being drilled in there. Player unmarked on the edge there of the six yard area. And it took full advantage there, Banda, from Lecce. What a fantastic header. Headed it downwards. Look at him. He positions himself, uses his upper body so well to generate power. And I must compliment uh, the quality of that particular delivery. Kangwa, a fantastic service. Uh, uh, he made a complete hash of it. He's had two hashes in two matches. What does that do for the confidence? What does that do for the scoreline? Banda scores twice in the space of three minutes and Zambia are on fire. Well, uh, if I was a betting man, I would have made some money. I did say, uh, Kev, they'd score, but I didn't think they'd score as soon as... Look at the shot there. It goes past towards and, and take nothing away from a Banda strike there, but I think the keeper could have done a little better just to shift across and at least have a touch. Look at it. He moves across, strikes the ball well, but I think the power and the, the, the accuracy just had too much for Morana to, to deal with. So the owners of Lecce will be very, very happy with their 22-year-old, only his sixth international match, Kate Banzo. Nice little knock inside as well. Good pressure coming from Rasek Tunza. Still an opportunity. That's much better from Toaster and Sabata. Come out to ensure that they get at least a point for this game. And that is where Zambia will take advantage of the fact that there will be more space.